All right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So I wanted to make a video today about a wrestler called the Warlord. Um, now many people were requesting this video, so that's why I'm making it, uh, because a lot of my subscribers, they really do enjoy the pro wrestling videos, and they thought that this guy had a crazy pro wrestling physique, and he was also billed in pro wrestling as being one of the strongest bench pressers in the history of pro wrestling. Um, but I will probably uh, argue that that was fake. So let me get into this a little bit. So the Warlord debuted in 1986. His real name is Terry Scott Zalpinski, probably butchered that last name, um, but his build height was six foot five and his build weight was 325 pounds. Now his claim to fame in the WWF slash WWE was this promo that he did. Um, they basically filmed him for a pay-per-view or whatever, bench pressing 500 pounds for 19 reps. Um, so basically, I think, obviously, those plates were probably fake. It's it's like a gimmicky-looking setup, um, kind of shooting it for entertainment value. And you can tell just the way the whole thing's set up. It's kind of aimed at just being an entertaining little skit. But in this little skit, he benches 500 pounds for 19 reps. I'm showing you guys some photos from the skit because, obviously, I can't use a WWF copyrighted videos because they're real strict about their copyright infringement. Um, so another thing this guy is known for is the Powers of Pain tag team. And he's also known for Chris Jericho. Him, him and Chris Jericho were really good friends. A lot of you guys are probably familiar with Chris Jericho. Um, and him and Chris Jericho rode together on the road and traveled together um, during, the, during their uh, wrestling careers. And he gave Chris Jericho his diet plan and his meal plan. So he basically helped Chris Jericho develop a way to eat on the road and kind of stay lean. So he basically gave Chris Jericho his first meal plan. Um, and him and Chris Jericho remained good friends you know, till the end of their careers. So him and Chris wrestled over in Japan, and they also wrestled together in the WWF. And in 1996, the Warlord got into a really bad car accident where he herniated three of his discs in his back, and he had neck problems that never went away after that accident. Um, so that kind of led to a uh, kind of a hurdle for him to overcome in his wrestling career, but he kept wrestling up until he had a motorcycle accident a couple years later where he tore his quad and he cracked both kneecaps, and that led to him retiring in 1998. Um, so after his retirement, he became a famous bodyguard for Kimbo Slice, 50 Cent, and now he works for a, relief, a company called Relief Group International. So now he's just kind of an average Joe guy working behind a desk. Um, but if you look at the pictures of this dude, man, he was definitely a sight to be seen in the WWE slash WWF. Um, probably one of the biggest and freakiest looking physiques um, to ever come through pro wrestling, although he wasn't ever really that lean. This, this was a big dude. He was a monster. Um, so the reason I make some of these wrestling videos is because I believe we can look you know, beyond the IFBB, beyond the NPC to find amazing physiques. Um, you don't have to compete in the Mr. Olympia to have a great physique. And I think pro wrestling um, provides us a source of all kinds of crazy physiques that never went through the bodybuilding circuit that a lot of people probably forget about. So these are guys that had crazy, you know, massive, impressive physiques that never achieved anything on a bodybuilding stage, but that doesn't make their physique any less impressive. Uh, so that's why I make some of these pro wrestling videos. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.